All right, what is up, you guys? I am here with the top five WWE pay-per-views of 2017. Overall, a decent year. Um, we've seen better, but we have seen worse. So, uh, in the PG era that we live in right now, I think this was a good year. So, number five of the best pay-per-views of 2017 is WWE Battleground. All right, I'm just fucking with you. Great Balls of Fire, number five. Battleground was shit. And I think we can all agree with that. I almost went to it, but I'm so glad I didn't. But Great Balls of Fire, you know, a lot of people, it was just one meme after another of people making fun of the name. But it really was a good pay-per-view. I also had to change its logo like three times. But um, we had Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe in a fantastic main event. Match of the night. And you also had a great tag team Iron Man match. With the Hardys and then um, Sheamus and Cesaro. Very good Iron Man match. Uh, especially the end. It really picked up. It was great. And then we also had your ambulance match. With um, what felt like an Attitude Era ending. With Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman. Um, you know it didn't follow your normal PG era modern day ending. Which I was glad. It, they really mixed it up and surprised you with the ending. So, um, you know, congrats to them for doing something different, which um, these days you don't really see much of, unfortunately. But um, amazing end to that match, and overall, a really good pay-per-view that really just kind of proved everyone wrong. Even myself thought this was not going to be a good pay-per-view. Next up, we have Survivor Series 2017. If the main event of this one was as good as 2016's, I would actually have this at number one. But unfortunately, the main event was very um, lackluster. But the rest of the card, I thought, was very well done. You had Alexa Bliss and Charlotte in a great match. You had two great tag team matches, uh, the Usos and Sh Sheamus and Cesaro. And then the New Day versus The Shield, both great matches. And then we had... My second favorite match of the year, WWE-wise, Brock Lesnar and AJ Styles. They really held their own in that match. And AJ Styles actually looked good, um, thankfully. And you actually thought he had a chance of winning, even though they kept scoring. Pretty much spoiled the ending of this match. Um, that's how good it was, though. It made you think that maybe AJ Styles could pull off the win. But, you know, like I said, they kept score. It almost felt like a bragging rights pay-per-view, um, which made it predictable. They really should not have kept store, uh, score. I, I think really the only thing that matters is the main event, the elimination match. But, you know, no title matches on this one. And um, really just um, interpromotional matches. But overall, I thought this was a very good Survivor Series. Um, so, yeah, very... Very well done. Next up, we have Elimination Chamber 2017. I thought, you know, out of all the pay-per-views on this list, this one was really kind of the breakout star because Luke Harper and Randy Orton had a great match out of nowhere. And you also, um, for a lot of people, had a surprise Bray Wyatt win. Um, you know, if you don't pay attention to betting odds and spoilers, that would have been a surprise win, you know? Um, Bray Wyatt pinned AJ Styles and John Cena to become WWE Champion in a great Elimination Chamber match. And you also had Naomi and Alexa Bliss for the title. And overall, I thought this was a very well done pay-per-view. Um, you know, setting up for WrestleMania 33. And sometimes that can get in the way of having good matches, but this one did both. So I think it deserves the credit. Next up, we have SummerSlam 2017 at number two. This one really felt like a SummerSlam. And it really... Um, in a time of SummerSlams not being as good, you know, I thought this is the best one since 2013 for sure. You know, you had some kind of um, lower quality matches. You had the Shark Cage match. You had Nakamura and Jinder Mahal, John Cena, Baron Corbin... But we also had um, great title matches, including the tag team pre-show match, which I'll get into here. 
but we also had Brock Lesnar defending in a great Fatal 4-Way match with Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, and Roman Reigns, and what a lot of people called the match of the year. I wouldn't call that the match of the year, but I think it was definitely very good. Um, you had Finn Balor coming back as the Demon, ironically, a year later. And then you also had um, decent Divas matches. You had Natalia and Alexa Bliss. Not Alexa Bliss. Naomi. And, um, you know, overall, I think um, it was also really cool that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins won the tag titles. And like I said, the pre-show match with the New Day and Usos, they killed it once again. So I think this one... Um, one of the better Summer Slams that we've had in a while. So, very well done, Summer Slam. And at number one, the 2017 edition of the Royal Rumble. Uh, the Alamo Dome, first time since 97. And I was blown away by how good this pay-per-view was. You had a great match with Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, with Chris Jericho in the Shark Tank. I was very skeptical about that match, and it turned out to be very good. You also had my personal favorite WWE match of the year, John Cena versus AJ Styles, in a phenomenal, no pun intended, match um, for the WWE title. And the Royal Rumble itself was pretty good. You know, it was very star studded. You have Goldberg and Brock Lesnar in there. Uh, you had Undertaker, which is really nice. And, um, you know, I really like what they did with Brock Lesnar and Goldberg again. Um, out of nowhere, it was fantastic. But overall, I would say it's the best pay-per-view of the year for sure. And then you had Randy Orton winning, um, which, I mean, the betting odds for that one came out pretty um, pretty close to the event. But for a lot of people, like I said, it would be a surprise win. So overall, I, th I would say definitely this was the best pay-per-view of the year. So tell me what your picks are down below, and maybe I'll do a top five worst if you'd like me to. But this has been the DVD Freak. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.